today is June 3rd and you can see the water in my yard still. Every day, just about, we've been getting rain and I wanted to share with you that I have not had a huge mosquito problem except when I go up here by this fence and that is mostly because she has not cut her yard, her backyard at all. So mosquitoes are able to breed in there. So I have a little bit of an issue when I go to work on the pots over there, but I redid all of those pots and put, uh, I tried putting tape on the bottom and that did not work. They have four holes and the water runs through them too fast. So I went back and I put plastic bags in the bottom of them to reduce the amount of water that can flow out of it so quickly. Yeah, there's a bit of a breeze. We have thunderstorm watch for this afternoon. Um, but I did want to share with you, it's been over a week now and I could go anywhere in my yard except for here with no mosquito issues. Um, it's not quite time yet for me to call the yard man out because he can't cut with his riding mower when the yard has got wet spots like that in it. He gets marred down, especially near the ditch over there and around the front of my house where there's a big long ditch as well. So I have to wait for it to dry out. We have several days coming that will dry it out considerably. But you can see the canna lilies now are three foot tall. They'll get to be five to six foot tall before summer's over with. Everything's looking pretty good. We've gotten so much rain that it's affected the squash beds. But you know guys, with the senior center in my life, I'm not worried about this because I do get food from there. So I have a safety net built in now that I've never had in my entire life. Not even when I lived at home as a kid. So anyway, I highly recommend the Spectracide. Do give it a try. It's been a week and I could come out early in the morning, late in the evening and not have any issues. While I'm out here, let's see if I can manage to get around all this mud. I wanted to point out, this is my air conditioner that I got for $285. Can you hear him running? He's actually really quiet. He's a Midia. He's U-shaped. You see his profile there? It's not very much. This part all hangs out here and he's very, very efficient. I'll show you inside what he looks like. It is 95 degrees outside. It's 83 degrees here in the house. This is with no AC because I'm not cooling my whole house. I'm just cooling my little TV bedroom area. Then in here, it is 74 degrees. And guys, this thing is so quiet. I Can you hear him? This is him running. He's so easy to sleep with. I am just loving him. He works by a remote. He even heats. The Midia air conditioner has an inverter in him and I can use him for heat. Plus, I can run him off of my uh, solar panel generator. Yeah, how about that? I saw on a YouTube video where they were doing it. So I'm very, very pleased with him. I'm sleeping better. I'm staying cooler. And I do not cool the rest of the house. The house naturally cools down into the 70s at night. And I get up and I go and do the things I need to do early in the morning in the rest of the house. And then when I get ready to, uh, well, I, I turn this off and the first thing in the morning, along about four, five o'clock in the morning. And then I don't turn him back on again until about noon. And he cools down in no time flat. And I just watch TV and do my computer and stuff in here in the afternoon if I'm at home. If I'm not at home, I don't run him. And I am so, so pleased with him. I highly recommend the Midia. I really do. And the fact that he's also got a heating component in him, 
I saw where he heats very well <laughs> on YouTube, which uh, for me is a real blessing if the power goes out. If I can get the generator charged up with the solar panels, I'm going to love this. Thank you, Lord. This is a good one. So at the end of this part of the video will be me spraying the yard. And so hang around to see how I spray the yard and still protect the yard for the animals that live within my yard. Okay? I don't spray willy-nilly. I don't spray everything. The bottle says to spray everything in your whole yard, and I don't do that, guys. <laughs> I got too many birds that eat out of my yard that I don't want to do that to them. So I'm selective in where I spray, and it is enough to keep the mosquitoes at bay, except over on the fence by my neighbor's yard where they, she doesn't cut grass. <laughs> I can't do anything about that, you know. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. Y'all take care if you're leaving me now, and thanks for joining me. I came out here yesterday to spray the yard for mosquitoes and realized I could not get the sprayer off the end of the hose. So I'll just leave that on there because I need it for watering. And just picked me up a new segment of hose because it's two hoses that make my segment to go all the way out to the fence. So I just picked me up another segment. Life goes on. I've already been out here this morning. It's going to 97, 98 degrees today. There is a heat advisory out, but it's still only nine. So it's only 80 something out here and it's sticky, humid. But I'm gonna get the spraying done this morning because I know it's just gonna get hotter as the day goes on. And uh, Thus far, though, the mosquitoes are not attacking me, but I have clove oil on me right now, so they're less likely to go after me with clove oil on. I tried wrenches and everything to get him off. He did not want to come off. So I just bought myself a new hose be done with it. Now, I do want to tell you, this thing tells you to spray your entire yard. Guys, I'm not going to do that. I have birds that come and eat in my yard. So I only intend on doing the places where I know mosquitoes like, which is the mulched areas like this. I will shoot at the base of those, except for the canna lilies, which I'm gonna go higher. I'll cut those. But I'm just gonna shoot at the base. But I will do the upper parts on the canna lilies simply because I have a bug that's attacking it. I just wanna put a dent in the mosquitoes. I don't expect to alleviate the problem entirely. Um, and I'm not going to kill a bunch of birds just to have a bug-free yard. This is a low area in my yard. Water settles there. I will spray it. Here where I'm standing where the beds had previously been, I will spray that. And I will spray this end over here. I hand sprayed the asparagus for that leaf-footed bug. And I'm looking him over. He looks good. I really don't spray my food areas in my yard, except with a hand sprayer with neem oil. He's looking good, so I'm going to leave him alone. I'm not going to spray him even though there's mulch in there and mosquitoes can grow there. I will spray the shady areas because you run into issues with that because mosquitoes like the shade. I will spray the fence and the wood pile. And I may hit that area right there, but I will not hit my garden beds where I eat from. So let me get this done. All right, time to get started. Well, there's that done. Thank you, Lord. I'm covered in sweat out here for the time it took. I also did the high spots and around the AC because ants like to get here. They like to build in the high spots as well. So where I know that I have issues with ants, I also spray that area. And that will take care of a couple of months. We have rain coming later this week, so I was trying to get it done today. So I'm going to go in and take a bath. I do recommend that because you never know when something's sprayed back on you, even though you didn't really feel it. And this stuff is supposed to be good for two to three months. Do go and take a shower and make sure you get it washed off. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to redo my heart and pots. 
and I'm going to put something in the bottom to keep them from draining. They need to hold more water than what they're holding. They drain too easily.